Ella Higginson was the most well-known author from the Pacific Northwest at the turn of the 19th century into the 20th century. She was said to have put the Pacific Northwest on the literary map. There were so many other writers who were writing about specific regions of the United States. So you would have Nathaniel Hawthorne for New England, William Faulkner later for the South. You'd have someone like Jack London for California. But there was absolutely no one writing fiction or poetry or nonfiction from the Pacific Northwest. This is what made her unique. There was no one who was even a close second in terms of writing about this region. The first half of Ella Higginson's adult career, she was so famous, she won so many awards. Many of her poems were set to music by famous composers and sung by celebrated dramatic singers of the day, such as Enrico Caruso. But with the turn after World War I, Ella Higginson and many other U.S. white women writers were, um, were forgotten. Their books went out of print because World War I changed production methods, what was produced, what was bought. And then literary tastes changed. Mostly men were in charge of publications and editing and were college professors. And so Ella Higginson's works, which had once been so famous, went out of print and pretty much disappeared from sight. I'm still in the process of determining how prolific Ella Higginson was, but it becomes very clear that she was highly prolific, perhaps more prolific than anyone except for Ella Higginson ever knew. It's so interesting. In Higginson's poetry, she is writing about nature very, very explicitly. This is a woman who knows exactly what plant she is looking at, who knows the call of every single bird that she hears, who knows every different kind of tree that she's surrounded by. But in her fiction, she is repeatedly very interested in white women in the Pacific Northwest and how difficult it is for them to make a living, how difficult it is for them to have a satisfying life. In her nonfiction, it's about other writers up and down the West Coast. It's about Alaska. She writes about local gossip. Sometimes she writes a little poetry in her nonfiction columns for the Seattle newspaper, for instance. But for the great most part, you can kind of divide those three genres up. They rarely overlap in terms of her approaches. When I say that she was famous, and that her work has been forgotten and so unjustly neglected, that is one way of saying that this is a wrong that needs to be righted. And I feel very strongly about that. When a reader picks up this book and begins reading Ella Higginson's poetry or her fiction or her nonfiction, it is immediately riveting. You see the Pacific Northwest at the turn from the 19th century into the 20th century. You see the struggles of people. You see what nature was like at that point before so much exploitation took place. You become immediately drawn into the worlds that Ella Higginson creates. So as much as she was popular because she wrote about the Pacific Northwest, she was also popular because she wrote about the Pacific Northwest so very well. So when readers pick up this book, I hope they have this experience where they experience the Pacific Northwest in the hands of a master writer.